In the celestial realm, where the fabric of reality is woven by the threads of divine power, an ancient tradition known as the Immortal Crucible takes place. This cosmic tournament, held once every millennium, pits champions from various pantheons against each other in a battle for supremacy. The stakes are high, for the victorious pantheon will gain dominion over the mortal realms until the next crucible commences. The grand arena, forged from the essence of stars and adorned with the sigils of countless deities, stands as a testament to the eternal struggle between the gods. As the champions gather, each bearing the blessings and burdens of their respective pantheons, the air crackles with anticipation and divine energy. Among them stands Azeric, a young demigod from a lesser-known pantheon, determined to prove his worth and secure his place among the legends. The opening ceremony is a spectacle to behold, with the gods themselves descending upon the arena in all their resplendent glory. The sky above the arena splits open, revealing a cosmic vista of swirling nebulae and pulsating stars. The gods take their places in the celestial stands, their presence filling the arena with an aura of power and majesty. Each pantheon section thrums with the unique energy of their divine domain, creating a kaleidoscope of colors and sensations. As the gods settle into their designated areas, a hush falls over the arena. The air grows still, and even the stars seem to pause in their eternal dance. Then a figure emerges from the center of the arena, the Arbiter, an ancient being tasked with overseeing the immortal crucible. The Arbiter's voice booms across the arena, echoing through the very fabric of reality itself. Champions of the Pantheons, hear me! The Arbiter declares, their voice a thunderous crescendo. The immortal crucible has begun, and the fate of the mortal realms hangs in the balance. Each of you has been chosen by your gods to represent their power and glory in this sacred battle. Fight with honor, for your actions here will resonate through the ages. Let the crucible commence. As the Arbiter's words fade, the arena erupts into a cacophony of cheers and battle cries. The champions, each a paragon of their pantheon's might, step forward, their weapons and armor gleaming under the cosmic light. Azeric, his heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and trepidation, grips his divine spear, a gift from his patron deity. He knows that the challenges ahead will test not only his physical prowess, but also his resolve and faith. The first match is announced, and Azeric finds himself face to face with a towering champion from a war-centric pantheon. The opponent's eyes blaze with the fury of a thousand battles, and his sword seems to thrum with an insatiable hunger for combat. As the two champions clash, their weapons meeting in a shower of sparks and divine energy, the arena trembles beneath their feet. Azeric, drawing upon the speed and agility granted by his patron, dances around his opponent's strikes, seeking an opening to land a decisive blow. In the stands, the gods watch with rapt attention, their cosmic eyes fixed upon the unfolding battle. Some lean forward, their fingers tightening around the arms of their thrones, while others recline, confident in their champion's abilities. The air in the arena grows heavy with divine anticipation, each pantheon silently willing their champion to emerge victorious. Azeric's opponent, a seasoned warrior with eons of battle experience, presses the attack, his sword a blur of motion. Azeric, his brow glistening with divine ichor, parries and dodges, his spear a beacon of light amidst the chaos. The two champions become locked in a deadly dance, their movements a symphony of skill and power. The arena itself seems to respond to their battle, the ground shifting and cracking beneath their feet, and the cosmic winds whipping around them in a frenzy. As the battle reaches its climax, Azeric sees his chance. Fainting to the side, he draws his opponent off balance, then lunges forward, his spear aimed at the warrior's heart. The opposing champion, realizing his error too late, tries to parry, but Azeric's divine speed proves too much. The spear finds its mark, piercing the champion's armor and sending him crashing to the ground. The arena falls silent for a moment, then erupts in a deafening roar as Azeric stands victorious, his spear raised to the cosmic heavens. As Azeric catches his breath, the arena shifts and changes, adapting to the next challenge. The smooth cosmic floor transforms into a labyrinth of twisted thorny vines that seem to pulse with malevolent energy. 
a poisonous miasma hangs in the air, and the once bright celestial light takes on a sickly green hue. Azarik, his senses on high alert, realizes that this trial will test not only his combat prowess, but also his ability to navigate the treacherous landscape of the arena itself. The next champion emerges from the shadows, a lithe figure draped in robes of shimmering darkness. She moves with the grace of a serpent, her eyes glinting with ancient forbidden knowledge. Azarik recognizes her as a representative of a pantheon known for its mastery of arcane arts and trickery. As the two champions circle each other, the vines around them writhe and twist, as if responding to the dark champion's unspoken commands. Azarik, his spear at the ready, charges forward, only to find his path blocked by a wall of thorny vines that spring up from the ground. The dark champion laughs, her voice a melodic whisper that seems to echo from every corner of the arena. She begins to weave intricate patterns in the air, her fingers leaving trails of shimmering arcane symbols that pulse with malevolent power. Azarik, realizing the true nature of the challenge, closes his eyes and reaches out with his divine senses, seeking to unravel the web of magic that surrounds him. In the stands, the gods lean forward, their eyes fixed upon the unfolding battle of wits and magic. Some nod in approval as the dark champion's spells take shape, while others frown, their fingers tightening around their divine instruments of power. Azarik's patron deity, a god of light and truth, closes his eyes and sends a silent prayer of guidance to his young champion, hoping that Azarik's purity of heart will see him through this trial. Azarik, his mind racing, begins to counter the dark champion's spells with prayers and invocations of his own. The air around him shimmers with divine light, and the vines that once barred his path begin to wither and retreat. The dark champion, her eyes widening in surprise, redoubles her efforts, her spells growing more complex and powerful with each passing moment. But Azarik, guided by the light of his patron and the strength of his own conviction, presses forward, his spear cutting through the arcane symbols like a beacon of truth amidst the darkness. In a final desperate clash, Azarik's divine light overwhelms the dark champion's magic, and she falls to the ground, her power broken. The arena is silent for a moment, then erupts in a chorus of cheers and gasps as Azarik stands tall, his faith and purity triumphing over the forces of darkness. With two victories under his belt, Azarik's confidence grows, but he knows that the immortal crucible is far from over. As he steps forward to face his next opponent, the arena undergoes another transformation. The labyrinth of thorny vines sinks into the ground, replaced by a landscape of shifting sands and towering ancient ruins. The air grows heavy with the weight of forgotten histories and the whispers of long-dead civilizations. Azarik's next challenger is a champion from a pantheon of wisdom and knowledge, a figure clad in robes of shimmering gold and adorned with intricate arcane tattoos. The champion's eyes hold the depth of centuries and their very presence seems to radiate an aura of timeless understanding. As the two champions approach each other, the sands around them begin to swirl and dance, forming intricate patterns and shapes that seem to hold some deeper, hidden meaning. The knowledge champion speaks, their voice a melodic whisper that seems to resonate with the very fabric of reality itself. They begin to weave a tale, a riddle of sorts, that speaks of ancient secrets and forgotten truths. Azarik, his mind racing to keep up with the champion's words, realizes that this trial is not one of physical combat, but rather a test of wisdom and understanding. He closes his eyes, allowing the champion's words to wash over him, seeking the kernel of truth hidden within the riddle. In the stands, the gods watch with bated breath, their eyes fixed upon the two champions as they engage in their battle of wits. Some lean forward, their fingers steepled in contemplation, while others recline confident in their champion's intellectual prowess. Azarik's patron deity, a god of light and truth, smiles softly, knowing that his young champion's purity of heart and clarity of mind will guide him through this trial. As the knowledge champion's riddle reaches its climax, Azarik's eyes snap open, a spark of divine inspiration flashing within their depths. He speaks, his voice ringing out across the arena as he unravels the riddle's hidden meaning 
and lays bare the ancient secrets woven within its words. The knowledge champion's eyes widen in surprise and admiration, and they bow their head in acknowledgement of Azarik's insight. The arena is silent for a moment, then fills with the murmurs of the gods as they marvel at the young champion's wisdom and understanding. Azarik, his heart swelling with pride and gratitude, knows that he has taken another step closer to proving his worth and securing his place among the legends of the Immortal Crucible. As the Immortal Crucible reaches its final stages, the tension in the arena reaches a fever pitch. The gods, their eyes fixed upon the remaining champions, lean forward in their seats, their divine essence thrumming with anticipation. Azarik, his heart pounding with a mixture of excitement and trepidation, steps forward to face his final opponent, the champion of a pantheon known for its mastery of the primal elements and raw, untamed power. The arena undergoes its final transformation, the shifting sands and ancient ruins, giving way to a landscape of roiling magma and jagged obsidian peaks. The air crackles with barely contained energy, and the very ground beneath Azarik's feet seems to pulse with the heartbeat of some ancient primordial force. The elemental champion, a towering figure clad in armor of living stone and wreathed in flames, steps forward, their eyes blazing with the fury of a thousand volcanic eruptions. As the two champions clash, the arena itself seems to come alive, the magma churning and bubbling, and the obsidian peaks trembling with the force of their blows. Azarik, his divine spear flashing with the light of his patron's blessing, dances around the elemental champion's attacks, his movements a blur of speed and grace. The elemental champion, their armor glowing with the heat of their inner fire, presses the attack, their blows raining down upon Azarik like a cascade of molten rock. In the stands, the gods watch with bated breath, their eyes fixed upon the unfolding spectacle of primal power and divine skill. Some rise to their feet, their voices raised in shouts of encouragement and triumph, while others sit in silent contemplation, their minds racing with the implications of the battle's outcome. Azarik's patron deity, a god of light and truth, closes his eyes and sends a final fervent prayer to his young champion, knowing that the fate of the mortal realms hangs in the balance. As the battle reaches its climax, Azarik, his armor battered and his body pushed to the limits of its endurance, sees his chance. With a final desperate lunge, he drives his spear into the heart of the elemental champion's armor, the divine light of his patron's blessing piercing the living stone like a lance of pure, unquenchable radiance. The elemental champion staggers, their flames guttering and their armor crumbling to dust, and Azarik stands tall, his spear raised in triumph. The arena erupts in a cacophony of cheers and divine acclamations, as the gods themselves rise to their feet in recognition of the young champion's victory. Azarik, his heart swelling with pride and gratitude, knows that he has proven his worth and secured his place among the legends of the immortal Crucible, and that the fate of the mortal realms will be shaped by his deeds for eons to come.